Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're going to be playing some more of the 5-1 lists, or uh, the what lists that qualified for the Channel Fireball uh, Magic Fest tournament they're running. So this is the one they're running four times a day. Uh, it's $25 entry. It's kind of the quarantine version of going to a GP. Um, so this one is a sweet one. It is an Is It Fires list. Um, kind of the main difference is, compared to like the Jess guy. You still have the Cavaliers, but you're playing Skargan Hellkite. Um, so a 5 mana Riot 4-4 four, four Flyer. So it could become a 5-5 five, five or a 4-4 four, four Haste. And if it has a counter on it, you can pay 4 mana and deal 2 damage up to 2 creature, uh, up to two targets. So it's kind of activated ability in there. You're playing 4 of each of the adventure creatures, drawing cr uh, Bone Crusher Giant and Brazen Borer. Uh, some Scorching Dragon Fires, the Sphinx. You got your main Cavaliers for haste, uh, some Moment of the Seas to set you up early, and then uh, a Fae of Wish package. Uh, mana base, the only change I made, so this is the list from the show 08 who qualified. Um, I just got, they had two Swift Waters, like the tap land, gain a life. Um, I wanted my lands to come into play untapped, so I just added one of each basic instead. Um, the sideboard wise, we're going to try out their sideboard and then maybe switch. Um, so Graph Digger's Cage for like Uro or any of the escape things, including Cat. Uh, Aether Gust and Mystical Disputes kind of for the aggressive or counterspell matchups. Another Dragonfire. Chance for Glory can let you combo and basically take an extra turn and then attack and kill them. Um, Tamio to get back some of your threats. Uh, Time Wipe to recycle, like Board Wipe that brings back one of your things. Nicol Bolas, uh, just good attrition value. Casualties of War, and then a Plain Wide Celebration uh, that can either combo with Nicol Bolas and win you the game, or gain you life and just return stuff. A whole bunch of shenanigans. Um, one thing to do, too, is with Uro, when it escapes, or Croxa, um, sorry, when it enters a battlefield, you have to sacrifice because it doesn't escape. If you target it with Dragonfire, even though the damage isn't enough to kill it because it dies from the sacrifice, it would get exiled that way there. Um, so I want to try out this list. The main thing we want to see is how this plays compared to the uh, Jeskai version. And um, is it worth to not play uh, Kenrith? So we'll play in some Mythic Qs. Uh, got a couple days left here, so we're just jamming as many decks as we can, see what's good in the Mythic ranks. And let's play this out. So I'm going to be playing some decks all weekend. If you have any suggestions, any of the brews that I've been posting on Instagram from the five ones or any deck uh, that you're interested in, uh, let me know, and uh, we can play them out on stream. I'll probably start doing another budget, a couple, either a budget build series next week, we'll see what's available, or just some budget decks uh, once the ladder resets. Um, opponent goes first. We don't have a play till four, but we have Sphinx to set it up. Let's try this out. Okay, so this is probably fire or um, cat oven. It's pretty much the only deck that you'd see nowadays. Um, so I think what we want to do is just play like this. Draw this, not sack it, get fires, and then sack it. Hey, Guanam, going well. Just uh, kicked off some magic for the day. How's everything on your end? So I want to try to dodge an oven here. Okay, so they bend an oven. Not the best target to braze in. Uh, the full video is up on um, Insta uh, and, uh, YouTube if you want to check it out. It was a fun one. Okay, so they did bin a Croxa, so that's something we need to be mindful of. So I might actually keep this Brazen Borrower. I don't think they exile, they exile Croxa. Okay, so based on that, I'm going to bounce this token. I'm really surprised they did that. So 
So I'm just going to play out the land. That way I can Brazen Borrower on my end step, untap Fires, play Sphinx of Foresight. Okay, so they did hit a Cat and a Woe Strider. I'm getting all that red-blue value. So this is probably a matchup we'll take out the Brazen Borrowers and bring in the Aether Gus. Even Aether Gus I don't think is that great. Let's see if they have a follow up. Okay, so they had another Croxa. Priest. So Priest can force us to sack this Brazen Borrower. Okay, so next turn we might be able to win. They force the sack. Maybe I should have held the Sphinx to sacrifice, because the thing is we don't draw land. So next turn I untap, I have two activations of Cavalier. That gives me, so this gets sacked. This is four power. Ah, oh, they just claim. Okay, at least it's not Croxa this turn. Ah, they got Oven as well. So... I think what we do activate here just get another mountain I'm gonna go Scargan no haste put a counter on it Sorry about that. So, not submitting here. Giving these haste. And then we'll attack in here. Wanna see if I could get them to bait into sacrificing. So we're going to kill this so they can't force us to sacrifice. Oh shit, that costs four. Okay, so I made a mistake there. For whatever reason, I thought that was two. Okay, so we know for next turn at least. Probably sack the the Hellkite. Because I imagine they bring back Croxa and that forces the last card out of my hand. At least Hellkite can go over the top. We're basically dead here. 
So Cage comes in in this matchup. The other Scorching Dragon Fire. So we'll play out Cavalier here. Then, so I can shock the Bone Crusher. That forces them to sacrifice. Or I could just bring in this power. They block here, here, and then I hit them in the sky for 12. Otherwise, I do two pumps here and then just bone crusher them. Do they gain life off this? They don't. So two pumps gives me 14 power. I'm surprised they didn't sack in response because then I couldn't give that haste. So they cat here. So Cavalier ended up being the, the best draw. And we're gonna survive with one life left. And then I have two damage to the face. That also deals a point of damage. So they gain, they have three mana. The deck typically doesn't have direct removal. Sweet, stole that game. Did not think we were coming out of that one. Um, so this matchup, I want the dragon fire and I want the cage. I don't think we want these aether gusts per se. It really only gets Kroxa and Mayhem Devil. Um, Cavaliers are fine. I'm gonna get rid of the Brazen Borrowers. I'd rather have Brazen than Gust considering they've performed similar functions, but at least this is a creature and we can always pull up one of these after. I think I want a little more removal in the sideboard, but let's try this out. No. Yes. Oh. This is awkward. We don't have red mana I think in an abstract without fires scargans better but we'll try it out 
Yeah, the Cavaliers are uh, like a really cool design. They don't feel as broken as the Titans, but it's nice that pretty much all of them are seeing play. All right, so this Omen of the Sea ideally would find a mountain and um, a Fires of Invention. A little awkward again the draw so this is something we've noticed a couple games now the scorching dragon fire would be great but we need red sources perfect so shock here and then just play a defensive bone crusher giant and then we're I would love a fires. They do get to draw a card, but taking that off the battlefield is important. It doesn't trade anyways with Bone Crusher, so it's fine. Cat, hopefully no oven. Nope, of course oven. We have Fey. Yeah, and of note, actually, Skargan's not bad here because I can go. Scargan, put a counter on it, and then shoot both of these. Oh. Well, that sucks. And they're kind of protected now. So they'll probably attack here. Fires. Nope. So what's the plan here? I don't want to take a turn off, but so I think what we do, this, try to find the fires. Perfect. So put you And you on top. It's fine. So what I'm going to do next turn, if we can get there, uh, so I can't remember if I, you can cast this card during your turn, you may cast I forget with fires if I cast a spell before if that ah shit. Well, never mind. Cause I was gonna get agonize it or scorching dragon fire fires. Yeah, that's notable. We can play Storm's Wrath. Especially because like this comes in as a five five. I might make that tweak. Yeah, we're dead here. They took our fires. Fires counts the ones before, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put Cage in the side. Just play another Brazen Borrower. I'd rather Fey for it than to try to draw one of in the deck. We have three Fey's, so it's more likely to hit it. And like that game, we could have just Fey'd got that and then it would have locked them pretty well probably storm's wrath instead of uh, brazen borrower okay sounds good got kill spells early because storm's wrath would also deal with planeswalkers we don't really play walkers in this list I 
want a fires. I'm a simple man. I want a fires. So that's good. I can now go get a uh, thing out of the sideboard. Just gonna kill this now. <laughs> the triple cat. It's a commander that. Fires of Invention is your commander. Just kill the Meyer trade in here. Untap. You know what? I'm going to keep Bone Crusher Giant, see if they want to take the Giant. I want them to leave the Fae of Wishes. So it's worse because it doesn't let us use our mana. Okay, so they took Fae. Let's just get rid of Meyer trade and then. Oh, we're just so good at magic. So I'm not going to cast it yet. I don't want to expose the uh, the cage to discard. What I do like is this version's a little bit more beat down. Just get rid of the Hellkite here. See here if they do the trade. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun. Buy Croxa. And we have two plays next turn. So they do have a priest. Just try to thin out the graveyard a bit. I have Faye, but I can't really get a lot of the stuff without time, without, um... Ah, no, that was dumb of me. I should have... I should have fetched before this. That was a mistake. So I can go get an Aether Gust. Want to protect my life total here. Okay, they got second priest. Being defensive, they could sack, ooh. I 
do like both of these. And I think I want to do this now to force it out of them this turn. Because then they can't use their mana as effectively. So I'm going to sack Bone Crusher here. And I'm going to just shock here. It lets me scry. Of course, they have another devil. So they can deal a point of damage with this land, so something to be mindful of. So I know for sure I have Bone Crusher to deal with this priest. Sphinx of Foresight. It's a pretty big body. It can help me scry each turn. Probably. Do I want this? Yeah, I probably want this. Yeah, the cage is a nice way to turn off. So this forces them to sack their board, which I think they'll want to keep the board instead. And then we've kind of grinded them out of resources. Fae for Cage is a nice interaction. I do like that. I do think we want Storm's Wrath somewhere in the 75. Not having, like this game, we could have bounced Fae, but we can't use any of our board wipes. Even like Flame Sweep could be something. Okay, they put a point of damage there. Okay. Like they put a lot of damage on us that way, but how did this sacrifice two other creatures? Oh, they targeted it with their thing. Very well played. So the, there they targeted with the uh, Mayhem Devil for it to die so we didn't get the second half of Bone Crusher Giant. Another priest. So, you gotta play defensive. This is a game where like Kenrith would help, Clarion would help, so Jeskai probably has a better version compared to this deck. Croxa also can deal some damage. Farika's Liberation. Mm -hmm. 
Hit me for one. I think we're better off just drawing naturally here. So we're getting close to the point where this will just kill us from the activation. Yeah. Fires is too slow right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, they got us. All right, we need to fix this. I'm not crazy about the 75. Let's tweak it. Like, I like the top end. I don't like how we get there. So I'd probably go down the borrowers. Want another omen of the sea just to help smooth out the draws. Storm's Wrath and then probably another dragon fire. I don't think we're ever going to get Tamiyo. Plain White Celebration's fine. Chance for Glory also seems pretty niche. And then... Storm's Wrath might be too slow. Now let's just get lava coils. Just play it out like that. Let's try this version out. Let me give Arena a quick reset so it doesn't glitch again. I also need to re-spin our quest for the day. Realized uh, we're doing a green-black one. Red and black. All right. Dragon Fires Part Two. Scargan could be a decent, like top end. The flying would have been relevant that game. Pretty surprisingly, it's pretty good. But like that's a matchup if we play it again now with the Storm's Wrath, or even just being able to like get. Lava coils, because we locked out their graveyard well. Let's play first. Let's hope we play a creature deck. I'm actually not going to show him blue yet. Let's pretend like we're mono red. Yeah, just adding that color just adds you a lot of value, I think. Yes, please. Probably Grow Spiral. Yep. So I actually kind of hope they play Uro this turn because I could Scorching Dragon fire it. Play 
Clara. So played it out like that. Just because if we drop fires, I want to play Bone Crusher. I'm really excited to get this Mystical Disputed. Thassa's Intervention. Why? Why? I wanted to Dragon Fire it. Already at four cards in grave. Oh, three. Verindris, if you find my stream, then you're allowed that one. Is this just Brazen Borrower? Shock here. It's probably another Thassa's intervention. Just do this, play out a mountain. This matchup feels pretty rough. Even without Reclamation, they're able to like tempo us pretty well. And now they're getting Uro back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I can Skargan. So I can do this, block Uro, and then dragon fire it. Um, let's put Sphinx and a land back. Probably not casting the Sphinx for a while. Yeah, if we had fires, this game would be a lot different. Probably just put a counter on it. Interesting they're holding off on the arrow. Might fave for Aether Gust. Yeah, that might be just not having um, like Teferi to help smooth things out. So we can bounce those. You gonna brazen bar army? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can fay for Aether Gust.
and then just pass the turn. So when they tap their mana, I'm going to Aether Gust this, and then I'm going to Scorching Dragon Fire it when it comes down. I just don't want this to get countered. Interesting. They put that at the bottom. They might have another Uro in hand. Okay, so they did have the Mystical Dispute. Let's just kill this. They're going to put this on 5, so I don't want to... Um, play out the Hellkite just yet. I think it'll be a decent follow-up play. They have Negate. I'm gonna go get Graph Digger's Cage here. They can Mystical Dispute this. So that turns off future Uros. The thing here, okay, so they put it on five. They've spent four turns pumping this thing up. Uh, they got Reclamation, so. That's gonna make things difficult. Do they just have Expansion Explosion here? Last card in hand is always Expansion Explosion, I guess. So now I got a full grip. Um, yeah, let's try that out. So I don't have enough mana for both. Go Cavalier here. We can pay for the first Mystical Dispute. They could have Thassa's Intervention here.
So I'm going to pop the omen at the end of turn. Yeah, we're probably dead here. I'm going to let them play it out. They're playing a bit slow. And they're manually tapping things, so... Well, the, the first one, once you draw five, like it's just gonna allow you to kind of go wild. They've used like an extra three minutes a clock. Yeah, that looks like reclamation. Show it to me. So Mystical Disputes and Aether Gusts both in. Yep. This is another matchup where Jeskai having Teferi is a lot better. So Aether Gusts, Disputes in. Uh... Probably going to get rid of Cavalier Gales just because it gets hit by Mystical Dispute. Five cards. Probably cut a Fey in this matchup. Sphinx helps me find stuff. Storm's Wrath could come out. Shave down a Dragon Fire. Probably both the dragon fires. I'm gonna have one for Brazen Borrower, but I don't think we really need it. They'll probably transform now and bring in um, Night Pack Ambusher. So maybe that's reason to keep the Storm's Wrath in. But I think having the Aether Gust main and the Mystical Disputes will help us to resolve fires. It's a little awkward too, having four Mystical Disputes in a fires deck. Like it could protect our stuff on our turn, I guess. This is one of those ones that I wonder how they won. It seems like without fires, this deck's a lot worse. All right, we got two Omen of the Seas to find fires. We also have just like not drawn Sphinx in our opener other than that first game, fires. No. Okay, so they bought them. Um... I'm just afraid like we're gonna end up with a hand of like all five drops in like one mana. Okay, so it's growth spiral. With mystical dispute back up. So they can growth spiral here. So I'm just going to do this because I can Omen of the Sea to draw a card. If not, I could Bone Crusher, Stomp, play out Bone Crusher, hold up Mystical Dispute. But I could counter the Reclamation. Be greedy. Jam Reclamation. Jam Reclamation.
Um, do I want the second blue? Probably not. All right, well, we're drawing mono bone crushers. I'm just gonna hold it off. If we can keep Reclamation off the table, we're okay. Like they could be playing to have Mystical Dispute. Let's just kill this. Yep, yeah, now they drop wreck, and now we're just not doing anything. They have Arrow, he draws him some cards. Aether Gust wouldn't be too bad. I don't think they fetch here. Let's see if they night pack ambusher. Dispute's also like a lot worse now. Because they can pay for it for any of their four drops, including Nightpack Ambusher. So I think we just scry here. Try to go on the beat down plan. I can get Aether Gust with Fey of Wishes or uh, Storm's Wrath actually. There are a few cards short. Okay, so they are not really doing much. I mean, that's pretty decent value for us. I'm surprised that they play it out now too. They can't block with it. So I can do this. Hold up Mystical Dispute and then drop Fires next turn. Like we might just win from a beatdown perspective. Um, you know what? I'm not playing any more to their board. I don't want them to counter anything because then they could get Uro back. I need, I'm going to make them have an answer this turn. Okay, see how greedy they get. Yep, 
They go explosion five. So I could force him to pay three, pay three. And then that lets me drop fires. Because then they can drop Uro the following turn. Yeah, that lets me tax them. Doing this before they could have any counter spells. It just narrows down how much they can do on their turn, because I'm going to be playing fires anyways. This also makes it so if they have Night Pack Ambusher, they're forced to block. Sick. We somehow stole that one. Um, so Dragon Fire's out. Oh, Dragon Fire's out. Lava Coil's in. Um, Disputes were fine in that game. Aether Gust is fine. Probably just Red Cavalier. Because this gets chumped. Uh, but this could kind of let me win. So maybe shave down like that. Two phase if we get it. Run it back. Wreck does that sometimes. All the ramp, no action. The one thing I do like this with playing four bone crushers is you just tend to be more aggressive. Elkite does feel kind of like a bad, uh, what's his name? Keep this, try to scry into fires. We have an omen into mystical dispute. Fires. Mm. Probably not. Because I can't counter the Reclamation, I'm going to counter this. That's probably Uro. So I'm shocking here to fake like I have three mana open. Here they also missed a line drop, which is nice. Let's not keep double lands. That's actually a good draw because it lets me hold up mana. So we took him one turn less drawing. Might see Reclamation here. We don't. Mm. Like what are the chances I just jam a whole bunch of stuff into them? And say counter it. Mm. I 
think we put it to the bottom. Okay, Bone Crusher lets us play out something this turn. can just scry here. Okay. They opt to go dragon fire. It is filling the yard for Uro. Okay, so we got Sphinx here. Just keep jamming out threats. Okay, so they dropped the rack. Now we're in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What would I rather? Let's just play this. They have enough for Uro now, and now I'm probably dead. Oh yeah, now I'm super dead. And like all this would be ignored playing Jeskai, so this just feels like bad fires. Someone won with it. All the power to them. We're gonna get explosion here, I'm guessing. Bass's intervention. They didn't have red mana. How the hell do they do that? So they're holding up the spute. Um, I actually don't mind the double lava coil. It gives me something to do. Uh, Jessica, any deck with Teferi usually has a, a good uh, way to deal with Reclamation. Um, generally speaking, if if you can shut off their instant speed stuff, plus Jessica can just win out of nowhere with like a combo turn. When they come post-board and they bring in counters, then it's harder. Uh, Jessica's fire's hardest matchup is counter spell decks. If you get Teferi down, you're good, but they have Scorching Dragon Fire to deal with it. Uh, the reclamation or uh, explosion. That's 11, 15, 17, minus 4, 13. They take us to 1. Oh, 14. Miscounted. Yeah. This deck's fine. Not really that good. Congrats to uh, the guy who went 5-1 with it, but not the most impressed. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up. I'll come back later today. going to do some form of Doom Foretold deck, either Black, White, or Abzan. Um, so I'll brew up something and we'll play it from there. Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a great one.